So I wanted to share a metaphor that it's scary how relevant it is to right now. And the metaphor, it's a trope. It's a literary device used in fiction, usually in the genres of thriller or mystery. And it's called Unreliable Narrator. Two popular examples are Fight Club and Gone Girl. If you think about a story that you have either read in a novel or seen in a movie, that story is being shown to you or shared with you through the eyes of another person. And that's the narrator. And usually you can trust what the narrator is telling you. Almost always, in fact, almost always. So usually you can enter into a story and just enjoy it, believe it, trust it, you have no reason not to. But as I mentioned, in those genres, particularly of like thriller and suspense, you want to shock your audience. And so then one of the ways of doing that is by switching it up and turning that narrator into an unreliable one. So you learn that the narrator actually is a drug addict and their perception of reality is skewed or you learn that they have been taken over by an alien and they aren't who they present themselves to be. Okay, so then that, that usually will happen midway in or even three quarters into the story. And when that happens, you're like, <gasps> and so then you immediately have to replay everything that you had established as real and true that you thought was the story. Now you're like, well, wait a minute. If this, then, 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 okay. That's where we are right now in real life. The unreliable narrators. We've been surrounded by unreliable narrators. And the main villains in this ridiculous story are journalists and those employed by mainstream media. That's one tier of unreliable narrators. And so when you think about how trusted they were on a pillar, it's like the news, we're conditioned, the news. We go to them to find out what is new. We're just conditioned. From back in the day, it was the newspaper, flip, 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 a little paper, even ink on your fingers. Oh, yes, I'm old. Okay, no, but now it's like scroll, 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 it's your news feed. But either way, with anticipation, you have conditioned yourself to look outside of you and to be told what is new. That was problem number one right then. Instead of waking up and deciding what will be new. Deciding what is new versus being told what is new. That's a, that right there. So we haven't even been starting our days correctly. But these people have been lying, outright lying. So this video is all about just wanting to plant the seed of distrust in the unreliable narrators, just to open up the eyes. I know that many eyes are opening, but not enough and not quickly enough. Humanity has to accept this difficult thing. It's like the removal of a bandage and there's a wound and it's like eh, wounds who wants to look at them but 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 wounds heal and the more attention that they get the better they heal that's the gist of this stop looking away i know very well that humanity is smart and sensitive even though We've been dumbed down and desensitized. Underneath and in our core, we are smart and sensitive. Our namesake is sapient. That's the part of you that I'm speaking to. The part of you that knows. 
what is going on is wrong and it is dangerous and it is threatening to everybody and it is bigger than any political party that is a huge distraction and thief of energy and attention falling for anything i'm saying both black people white people instead of harnessing anger toward another pocket or group of people please recognize that there are larger organizations and institutions with guns at your head and they want to come and wear like these sky blue hats and run up and down your streets and make you their Please accept the truth about what your gut has been telling you. That the authorities and most of these unreliable narrators in all of these categories, from journalism to technology to medicine, to all of these established institutions that were the pillars of the way that we understood life to be organized, there is infection in all of it and ignoring is not well i don't know i mean it might for me personally my belief is that ignoring it in my heart it does not feel like the optimal option it does not feel like the best option so i am advocating looking at it looking at it looking at the hard I mean, it's almost, it's not even hard. It's impossible. It's like it's like look at the sun at noon. That's that's what's being asked of us. And of course, we want to be like, no, it's gonna, it's blinding. The light is so bright, it is blinding. Which is ironic because truth is seeing. That's what's being asked of us to look at the very thing you do not want to look at. That is the initiation. It's homeopathic. I believe that that step number one is to stop trusting liars. And so to do that, that means that yes, you have to accept the fact that the very foundation that you rested your belief on was severely flawed and not worthy of your belief. It literally is the same thing as is coming to realize that if you've ever been betrayed by a lover, to me, it is the same level of psychological work, of emotional work, to be betrayed by a beloved, to be betrayed by a lover or a very close friend. There's of course, you know, denial. You want to resist that. You do not want that to be true. I get it. I understand that, you know? And so, like I said, anyone who has ever known the pain of deceit or betrayal, that's what's being activated. It's like, ah, okay. But you have to realize that to stay in a state of denial and to maintain the illusion that this person is not a cheat, that this person is not a liar, not a deceiver, you know that that's not good for you. You know that you will have to make a change it's gonna be hard as hell but it's gonna be harder to not 